Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Upbeat and I hope you are doing very well. Do you have a rubber plant something like this or even this? Though the first one is looking bit okay, the second one is looking really very depressing. So want to know how to make your plant like this one? Such a huge and bushy plant, isn't it? You are not going to believe me if I say that the same plant was something like this just few months back. Let me show you what I did step by step and in case you have a plant like this or even this one, you can easily make them bushier. Alright, let's get started. This is the plant that we are going to transform today. Though the plant is looking happy one, I am not satisfied as it has only one single branch. So let's force the plant to produce more branches. The first step. What we need to do is pruning and spring is the best time to prune most of the plants. That means it's safe to say that we can prune from around February and to May. I am also going to hard prune my plant and I would prune at this point. After pruning plant is going to lose few leaves and it's absolutely okay. That's why I am doing hard pruning instead of just pruning the tip of the plant. Three important things to note here. The sap is toxic and so please be careful. Second thing, you don't have to throw the pruned part. You can grow rubber plant just from a single node and I already have shown everything in this video. If you are interested then please check out the video simply clicking on the i button on top right corner or you are also going to find the link to that video in the description box. On third, please do hard pruning only if you are confident with your plant. I know my plant very well. That means I have grown this plant from this days and that's why pruning it hard. If you have any doubt at all, please prune only the top part of the plant and see how it goes. If everything goes well, then only do the hard pruning. Second step. I am going to report my plant and for the pot selected one 10 inch pot. The current pot is small and obviously it's not going to support a very big plant. Third step, please prepare the potting soil mix properly. If you have been watching my videos, you already know what I do and it's because it really works well for most of the indoor and sensitive plants. I am doing it this way. Normal garden soil 30% is, coco peat 25% vermicompost 25% and rest 20% is perlite. Please again note that rubber plant is not the best indoor plant but it's quite sensitive and that's why I am going to use this soil mix for my plant. Alright, reporting is done and after reporting please water thoroughly. Next I am going to keep the pot in steady area for next 3 to 5 days and then I would keep in a place where it's going to get at least 3 to 4 hours of direct sunlight. Please note I am not going to keep the plant indoor. And one big warning, if you provide low light just after doing all these things, your plant may die. So please be very careful. Let's take a look at the updates now.
so guys this is the result after waiting for more than six months though it took quite a while i am really happy with the result as i have pruned my plant for the second time it has produced more new branches again plus take a look at the aerial roots really amazing look like i would need to report the plant in a 16 inch spot and imagine how it's going to look after next six months quite satisfied with the result and just loving the plant the way it's growing let's talk about few important things here first one is sunlight you are going to find many wrong info about the sunlight requirements and many videos claim that rubber plant grow well in low light absolutely not correct i have already said this in one of my previous video well they can be kept in indoor but if you want them to grow fast or even you want them to make bushier, please try to provide minimum 3 to 4 hours of direct sunlight. In winter, we can provide them whole day of direct sunlight without any issue and in summer, it's better to protect them from afternoon sunlight. I am doing the same thing with my plant. Second one is water. Please let the topsoil dry out before watering. Here in this footage, you can clearly see that top 1 to 2 inches soil is absolutely dry. Leaves are falling means either you are overwatering or your plant is not getting the enough light. That's why I am saying sunlight is really very very important for rubber plant. On third, we also need to fertilize our plant on a regular basis. No need to feed them too frequently and feeding them 6 to 8 times a year works well. In this case, I am using only two components. First one is 25 grams of bone meal. Instead of this, you can also use rock phosphate and you can buy it from Amazon. Second component is 20 grams mustard cake powder. Instead of this, you can use either blood meal or fish emulsion fertilizer. If you don't have anything, please provide 100 to 150 grams either composted cow dung powder or vermicompost once in 25 to 30 days mustard cake and bone meal is powerful and that's why no need to use them too frequently like once in 25 to 30 days after fertilizing please water thoroughly that's all about how to make your rubber plant bushier i have shown everything step by step with result and i hope you found this video useful if you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening update. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Have a great time and enjoy.